Hey guys, welcome back to Galgorm Hall. In front of you are two Wills cobblestone plate sheets. And I'm using these for the surface of the goods yard on the branch line side of the layout. However, one issue I have with them is that whenever you butt two sheets up together, you get a very distinct line between both plates. So you know that they are just sectional plates of cobblestones. And I want to remove that so that your eye is not drawn to it. So how do you go about it? Well, initially, mark, line up your two plates as to where you want them to be. And then with a pencil, mark a cobblestone on the left sheet and then the right and then the left and then the right, going all the way down the length of sheet that you require. So you will have every other cobble marked. And what you need to do then, that will denote which cobbles need to be cut out. A Stanley knife is a very useful tool for cutting the will sheets. And what I do is, with a bit of pressure, split one of the, the cobbles in that direction. And then with a Stanley knife, or sorry, with a craft knife, a little bit of pressure applied on both sides. will have the cobble out. And what then you're left with, whenever you're working on two sheets, is a section like this. Now whenever you put those two sheets together, you will find that there will be a restriction because that you do get an odd little overlap of cobblestone, just the way it's cut, by the, um, which prevents them joining together. And all you need to do is take your craft knife, knife again and shave small sections off. Just fine little bits at a time. It's very much, uh, do a little bit, test fit it again, do a bit, test fit it until you're happy. But eventually both will join together. Now whenever they do join together, now these are still a bit tight, I'm still working on them, but for demonstration purposes I'll carry on with it. Whenever you do join them together you will still find that there are large gaps in between. Now you could leave this but I think there's too many large gaps there and it's still going to draw your eye to that. So where a cobblestone is butting up against one on the other side that is preventing other from closing in a little bit closer. So what you can do is with your pencil mark that cobblestone and we just want to shave a little bit of it off at the time. Mark that stone, take your craft knife again and cut a section out and then you can test fit again. Now this will probably make very little difference because I need to do it all the way down this sheet which I haven't as yet done yet. Now you can see that this cobblestone is getting in the way, but ha has moved the others in ever so slightly. But carry on with that, and you will eventually finish with two sheets such as this, in which whenever you put them together, they slide in nice and neatly. They butt up very, very well. There's the odd gap, particularly this one at the top here, but an odd one I can live with. An odd one would look probably quite prototypical but you're left with that and the only other thing to get it to this stage at the minute on these ones here they are very square ended so with a little bit, bit of sandpaper just round the edges and you round the edges and all those cobbles the whole way down and you're left with a cobble it just appears exactly as it was before you did the cut. Whenever you lay that on the layout, apply a little bit of tile grout or filler in there, let it dry off, and then with a, a scraping tool of some description, a craft knife, whatever, just file down the, um, the grout until it matches in with the rest of the moulding um, on the actual sheet. And that's it. Job done.